Hello everybody, welcome to Dak Man Productions and welcome to the ATCA uh, annual event here at McCungie, Pennsylvania and McCungie Memorial Park. So what this event is for is old antique trucks and I'm not talking about pickup trucks, I'm talking about big rigs. So if you like old Mack trucks, old Peterbilt, old cameras, this is the show to come to here in McCungie, Pennsylvania. So we are standing here at the entryway to McCungie Memorial Park. We want to take a look at what's here and uh, also point out a couple other things. Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing well. I was just curious, is this a real Australian road train truck? Absolutely. It's done 3 million kilometers. Wow. Of road train work in Australia before it come here. Oh. Pulling double Sydney to Perth mostly. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that is so cool because I have, uh, I'm a huge fan of Australian road train trucks, especially oh, Max. So. Yeah, right, right. right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have you seen my video of the of the um, road train on the Kenworth with the V1271 in it? No, I haven't. And um, it's it's uh, online there, you should look it up. Okay. V1271, it's had about 5 million hits. The bloke that owns this truck is American. And he's driving it, and it's got a whole heap of beautiful trucks on the back of it. Three trailers with, um, yeah, with a lot of antique trucks on the back. So, out of curiosity, over in Australia, because I don't know, but do you need like a special license to drive a road train over there? Absolutely. Yeah. They, okay. They call it a multi combination license. Okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah, you go up in a number of um, levels, you know, um, rigid, which allows you know just to buggy drive and then, a, and then you go to the normal semi trailer and then you go to the multi combination which is uh, an MC license which allows road trains and also B doubles. Okay and what's the longest amount or how many trailers can you have on a road train over there? What's the longest amount? Well, it depends where the roads are up to in my country um, they're allowed to take doubles through there two, two, um, two trailers that's only allowed in the last few years that's up the inland route from Melbourne to, to Brisbane, and um, but up through Central Australia, you know, allowed to carry um, three trailers, and then a lot of the mining companies um, have up to eight trailers. Eight trailers, oh, wow! Yeah, so um, but they have a power trailer in the middle of it, so that you know allows another engine, just like a truck, but it's all remotely controlled. Oh wow, remotely controlled. Yeah, That's impressive. Yeah. So that they get to a hill, they can start up the power trailer, and he can just give it a. Yes. You know, um, I, I have heard of power trailers where there's an actual engine in the trailer that's itself. Right. Yeah, that's yes. what it is. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I have heard of that. Yeah. So you know, I've done because it just sparks my curiosity. I just love that stuff. You know, yeah, yeah. it's just kind of cool stuff what they came up with over there. Yeah, well, we've always been quite creative in uh, what we've done and what I had to do and to survive. Because it's not like your country, there's, there's nothing in the middle of Australia. There's no farm, just a massive difference. Oh, okay. You know, of nothing, you know, they cattle at a one, one per 20 acres or something. Like that. Um, but they have yeah, a lot of cattle. Um, in that area, but other than that, it's just nothing. you know, once you get more than say 400 kilometers inland around the edge, that's it. Yeah, as far as farming and um, yeah, but cattle stations, yeah. yeah wow. Yeah, well, I appreciate you bringing this truck out for you know for us to see <laughs> the road train. It's just cool. So yeah. get that on video. Yes, yeah, good on you. Yeah. You know where the steering wheel is, don't you? Sure, it's on the right hand side. Yeah. <laughs> right hand drive. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. All right, thank you. Okay. Uh -huh. Good chatting to you. Good chatting with you. It's good to have you here. So ever since I watched the movie Mad Max Road Warrior, I've had a fascination with Australian road trains and as you heard with the interview this is a real Australian road train that was imported um, 
So they use rock guards on the windshield. They have these tall snorkels on the air cleaners to get the air uh, away from now, all that dirt and desert dust and stuff from getting into the air cleaners. It's, all these lights are for night driving because obviously there's no lighting in the desert of Australia. But it's just super cool to see a real Australian road train truck uh, without having to go there. <laughs>